What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with probably 20 minutes or so of WWE action figure news. Now this is going to be sort of a preview video, sort of just a news update video on WWE action figures, the entire line, and what is to be expected in 2023, and what we know is coming up to this point, and things that we do not have in hand yet. So this is going to be Ultimate Editions, Elite Lines, Store Exclusives, Ultimate Editions. All of that is going to be ran down in this video. I'm going to break down every Elite Wave that we know about that's coming up. Store Exclusive Wave, Store Exclusive Ultimates. I'm going to catch you up from Elite Series 101, which we already have in hand and stuff like that. Moving all the way up until WWE. WWE Elite Series 104, Greatest Hits, Exclusives like I said, and all sorts of other things. But a couple quick announcements before we get into that. Huge shout out to our patron members. We had a new sign up the other day to the Extreme Division. That is going to be Flynn Green. Huge shout out to Flynn Green for becoming a patron of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to him. If you guys are interested in the Patreon, click the link in the description below. Giving away a 1 of 5,000 Darby Allen this month, as well as a lot of other things. Also, I will be attending WrestleMania. I am going to be in Los Angeles, California for WrestleMania. WrestleMania, man. So if you guys are going to WrestleMania, maybe night one, night two, you're going to be at Axis. Any of that stuff, man, let me know down in the comment section below. I look forward to meeting all of you guys out there. Going to be a blast. Royal Rumble in San Antonio was a lot of fun, so I look forward to meeting you all in LA as well. Going to be my first time visiting out there as well, so I'm, I'm just over the moon about it, man. So just want to get those couple quick announcements out of the way. But diving into it, man, let's go ahead and start off. We are getting into WWE Elite Series 101, a full wave that we already had our hands on. I don't really want to mention it if you guys were unaware. This is the wave that we are most complete on. This is the one that we are on right now. Anything beyond this in the main Elite line we do not have in hand. And yes, the ranking of Elite Series 1 through 100 from worst to best is also still coming. Still in the works, man. Long video, long project there. But getting into Elite Series 102, we have seen this entire wave. We have not seen prototype images. I, I do believe this is going to be a set that we see on display at WrestleMania Axis. But in this wave, you are looking at Edge, Rhea Ripley, Austin Theory, who is also the chase. I prefer the Captain America. America gear over the black and silver, and I do believe the Captain America gear is going to be the regular version. We also have Sami Zayn, and we have Commissioner Foley and Gunther, or Gunther, whatever you want to say there. He's still Walter to me, damn it. Nonetheless, man, that is Elite Series 102. I think it's a great wave. I look forward to this wave a lot. Can't wait to see this, this wave in person. Can't wait to just review these for you guys. It's going to be epic. And then we also have WWE Elite Series 103. Now, this is a set that we just have announced. It is not, it's not officially announced by Mattel but it is all but confirmed at this point. We have Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Liv Morgan, and Stardust. So this way features a couple main event guys. You got Liv Morgan in there. Desperately need an update for her. The Street Profits last figures were terrible compared to what we could have gotten. And with updated formulas, great attires, Angelo Dawkins is one of my least favorite elites of all time, man. I hope to Jesus this man looks incredible in Elite 103. And I hope to God they go back to the drawing board for the formula. If not, I'm going to drag it in a video. And then Stardust is insane. I can't wait to see what updated Cody we get there. So uh, it should be very fun to see what Stardust is coming out. What he looks like, you know, all these years later. Been almost 70 series since we saw a Stardust figure, so that'll be really fun. Elite Series 104. Diving into Elite 104. Very big set. I think everybody's going to be over the moon about this set. First off, we have Rick Steiner coming in here. I think we're probably going to see the Steiner Bros at WrestleMania Axis at least an announcement of those guys but if we do not we do have rick steiner in elite 104 which also goes with our chase figure from the set which is going to be braun breaker yeah we get two elite braun breakers in this set we also get solo sokoa a very big figure that we have been waiting on for a long time going to complete our bloodline there we also have dakota kai aj styles and drew mcintyre so this is a wave that i think a lot of people are looking forward to you get a really cool dakota kai hopefully aj styles figure it has maybe like i hope to god they don't go to the ultimate and then they come back to the elite and they don't update anything i hope they give him those new legs they give him a new torso that's something i really want to see from aj styles but i'm not going to hold my breath brad it would be really dumb to have him two separate formulas for ultimate and elite but i it, again it would not shock me brad i'm not holding my breath i might pass away and the last figure in the set will be drew mcintyre and you know i don't know how they improve his figures he's had some just stud muffin figures lately man his figures have been absolutely incredible so as long as they build upon that you know get an updated face maybe a different 
different gear and maybe even a promo gear with a leather jacket that would be cool with me because we've seen so many Drew McIntyre's but Elite 104 is Drew McIntyre now after WWE Elite Series 104 that is all we have you know usually we know like two to three sets ahead and that's the case here we don't know what Elite 105 106 hold and we'll have to wait you know to see exactly what that is in the future but next up we have the greatest hits wave which is a wave that I am so anxiously waiting for we got to see a couple render images of two of the figures in this set which is going to be Blue Tista a lot of people thought that this figure shouldn't be re-released they're like why the hell is this in the greatest hits wave and I'm kind of there with you I think the Elite 30 would have been cool here the Elite 2 the Elite 6 either any of those Batistas would have been perfect hell even the Elite 72 would have been probably better than the Elite Blue Tista here but you know who am I you know the lights are too bright for me I don't know what I'm doing Batista is here in the set and also King Harley Ray straight up re-release of his flashback Elite he will have double jointed arms it's going to be highly sought after obviously for for tons of reasons but you also have some heavy hitters in this set man Undertaker Shawn Michaels Seth Rollins it's all going to depend on what the figures are what they represent which prior figures they have are they going to come with slightly updated head sculpts are they going to be identical to what we got last time lots of questions here but all we want is Elite 45 Seth Rollins in this greatest hits way I if I see an Elite 45 updated Seth Rollins with updated formula with updates similar to the graphic I made over a year ago or close to a year ago I think if I see that figure in life it's gonna be a damn good day and I'm gonna lose my mind here on the YouTube channel so that is our greatest hits wave Undertaker Shawn Michaels Seth Rollins Batista King Harley Race and DDP which is a sleeper and I don't know what the hell they're gonna do for that figure I'd like to see something new but we've already seen his Elite 36 figure twice already so I don't know what they're doing there that'll that'll be an interesting day still going on with the Elite sets man we're diving into the defining moments ringside exclusive mankind the, if you guys were unaware they are bringing back the defining moments line for Mattel and WWE except it's going to be ringside exclusive now and the first figure is going to be mankind all we have is this back shot of the photo where you can obviously see the tax in his back which is so huge I'm so interested to see where this line goes I'm just so, like th that is one of the top things that I'm most like intrigued about for this year is to see where this defining moments wave goes also I'm very interested to know what the next Mattel crowdfunder is those two things are probably the number two like one and two things on my list of just I'm freaking out anxiously waiting what is next and that is where I am there but this Mankind figure looks great next up we have a couple Legends sets now these are Target exclusive but we already saw all of Legends 18 we already saw Legends 19 as well but we haven't seen prototypes or full render you know promo shots of those like Legends 18 and Legends 18 you got Polly Dangerously you do have the Head Shrinkers here you get Hulk Hogan it's a great set I'm very much looking forward to it I think the Chase figures you get two Chases in here with the Head Shrinkers and they they both look fantastic. I love the deco on their pants. This wave is going to be very cool, even though the Hulk Hogan's kind of a miss. You know, we're still also waiting on that brand new torso and skin tone, apparently, that we're going to be getting with Hulk Hogan moving forward for all of his figures, trying to keep it all in unison. You know, they've been flipping between the very lean Hogan next to what he's actually supposed to look like, so they've been going back and forth. It frustrates a lot of collectors, so that will be fun to see exactly what that looks like as well. Maybe that's something we'll see at WrestleMania Axis in a few weeks, but Legends 19 is going to be under. Undertaker, Brother Love, D'Lo Brown, and Kama. Very cool set here. Very much looking forward to a lot of figures in this set. I think it's going to be a highly sought after set. I think Brother Love is a, a hole in the collection. Everybody and their mom's been wanting to fill for a little bit there. So that'll be a fun set. You got a couple Target exclusive Legend sets there with Legend Series 18 and 19. Also, some elites that we have coming this year is going to be the Build-A-Figure Mr. Perfect in the turtleneck sweater. We already knew about this wave. We've covered it at nauseum but we do have this set coming. Uh, in this video, again, man, I just wanted to cover these sets and, like, figures that are coming in 2023. It's sort of like everything we know up to this point, every single Elite Wave, all the different Ultimate Editions. I probably missed some as well, but we're going to keep going with it. We have the Survivor Series Elite Build-A-Figure British Bulldog set. Now, this is a set that I've only done a video on one time here on the channel. And in this set, apparently... We're going to be getting Shawn Michaels, Jerry the King Lawler, Charlotte Flair, and Kevin Owens. And the Build-A-Figure is going to be British Bulldog. Maybe this is a set we see at WrestleMania Axis. I'm very excited for this wave. I think that, you know, you got a cool HBK in there from Survivor Series. Obviously going to depend on what the Survivor Series event is. We have Jerry the King Lawler. Have no idea what they're doing here because his last Elite 82 figure was very similar to what he wore at, like, one of two different events. So I don't know where they're going there. We covered all of this in our 
announcement video or like our news video covering this exact subject. But Charlotte Flair, uh, you know, there's a couple few things that it could be, nothing over the top. You also have Kevin Owens. A few things it could be there, but I'm always down for a KO. And you guys know in the Build-A-Figure Elite sets, it's typically more than likely going to be a redeco, a repaint of an existing Elite, and they'll probably have double jointed arms, or not probably. They will have double jointed arms. You know, it's the, the tail of the tape now. They give it to us every single time now, so that'll be really interesting, and I'm really interested to see what the Build-A-Figure British Bulldog looks like, you know? Like, what the hell are they doing there? At, is it going to be an Attitude Era British Bulldog? Like, what? I don't know what we're going with there. That'll be interesting for sure. However, that is it for our Elites. Now we are getting into all the Ultimate Editions that we know on the horizon or that we see on the horizon some of these have been formally announced some of these have not been formally announced and maybe again this is something we could get proven to us or approved or announced to us at wrestlemania access you know they can't give us everything at wrestlemania access it'll be like a, a pretty decent amount of things revealed and shown off and they can't give it to us all at once because they got to save some stuff for Comic-Con. They got to save some stuff for down the road and different announcements and photo galleries and things they like to do. So the obvious ones that we know are coming. Ultimate Edition Series 16 was AJ Styles and Razor Ramon. We already did full reviews on the channel if you guys are interested in those. But Ultimate Edition Series number 17 is going to feature Seth Rollins and Andre the Giant. We've already seen the renders. We've already seen the prototypes. And I'm really excited for both of these figures. I think this is going to be a great set. That Seth Rollins is in that rainbow triangle pattern gear it looks freaking fantastic i love the torso choice they gave him i'm very excited for the seth rollins i think this is a pair of figures we've already seen the prototypes we've already seen the renders this is a pair of figures that i hope to see on display in a couple weeks and that'll be that'll be very epic but we have seth rollins and andre the giant ultimate edition series 17 ultimate edition series 18 which is something that has not been confirmed or announced just yet is going to be macho man and randy orton yes another macho man in the set this is another bit of news that we did a video on but again i don't think it quite i don't think it's been known or it hasn't been widely widely known so if you guys are unaware of that one it is macho man and randy orton here and again not announced yet formally by mattel but probably on the horizon line there coming in the distance macho man gonna be like what his fourth ultimate edition between the early bird special the series with edge you had the macho man exclusive to target and so we're getting another one here and then randy orton there's so many different ways it could be i mean i have no idea what they're gonna do i i think that in my brain i'm thinking they're probably gonna do a two-in-one which i don't think would make sense i've explained it here on the channel but basically you're going to do a two-in-one, but he has tattoos that go onto his torso, so I don't think it really makes sense to do a two-in-one. I think give him that Rick Rude torso and either go with a flashback Orton like Legend Killer style from Backlash 04 or give us a WrestleMania 31 updated Orton where, you know, he did the RKO out of the curb stomp with the red and gray and black trunks. Give us a yelling head sculpt. Give us a pissed off head sculpt. Lots of things you can do there. And I am very excited for Randy Orton. Can't wait to see that one. Now we're diving into some store exclusive ultimates. And the first one is going to be the Bret Hart. This figure is beautiful. A uh, beautiful looking figure. I am very excited for this one. I think this one crushes his first go around Bret Hart. I love the all pink. That is chef's kiss for me. I'm like, I don't know how this figure is not in stores yet. I, th I think if anything, this figure should be hitting any week now. I mean, like we have seen this thing for a long time we saw it on display at san diego comic-con i'm pretty sure we saw it at uh, we saw the full promo pictures inbox images all those different things so the only thing we're really waiting on now is just finding it in the wild right like seeing this i don't even think it's up for pre-order at target yet so i guess we're waiting on a pre-order but wwe.com already posted the full image gallery of the figure we saw it on display multiple times we've seen the render image i mean we have seen this figure so many times i don't know how it's not in our hands yet and i don't know how we don't have updated images of the next figure which is going to be the rock we have seen this grayed out image of the rock for a very long time as well this rock figure right here is a grayed out image i think they announced this when they announced jeff jarrett if i'm not mistaken and they announced bret hart for the first time like this, this is the next legends target exclusive ultimate edition very similar to his first go around but that first go around figure was fantastic so i don't really have any issues with the figure i just i'm wondering where it's been i want to know exactly is it going to be a straight up re-release of that original rock figure or is it going to be a change in shirt a change in accessories things like that because everything else pretty much looks the same but I'm looking forward to The Rock, looking forward to the Bret Hart, and I'm looking forward to the next Legends Target exclusive, man. I'd, I'd like to see an Eddie Guerrero. Maybe they're saving that for the crowdfunder. I'd like to see a Kurt Angle. Maybe saving that for the crowdfunder. And while it just hit me in the brain, 
Rey Mysterio inducted into the Hall of Fame. I think uh, we're probably going to be getting a Hall of Fame edition Rey Mysterio like style figure to celebrate that. I think I could see that hat. Maybe even an Ultimate. That would be really cool. And then finishing up our video, man, the next ones we have are going to be the other exclusive Ultimate Editions. And if you guys are wondering what these are, the pre-orders have already come and gone for these first two, but it is going to be the Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition, the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition, and the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition Logan Paul figure. Both of these figures have come and gone. If you guys go check the god dang aftermarket prices of these two Ultimate Editions, it is unbelievable, man. I'm pretty sure they are pushing three, four, five hundred dollars for these figures because they're going to be a limited supply. I have no idea how many were ordered. I know how many I ordered, like of Cody and Logan Paul. But that just goes to show, if you like, once you have those things up, man, you gotta snipe them while while the iron's hot. Even if you could just get one, you know, try to move the money around if it's something you really want, because you never know what the aftermarket is gonna look like. And the uh, the most unpredictable aftermarket economy of action figures is the craziest in WWE and wrestling action figures, man unbelievable it's always shooting up high it's always crazy you can never predict the wwe action figure aftermarket man it's a it's a crazy thing but both these figures look insanity i'm super excited for both of them even though i don't really like logan paul that much the figure does look bad a and i'm excited to get it in hand and the box looks bad a now the last two figures we're covering are in this it is going to be the ringside exclusive ultimate editions jimmy and jay uso now i don't know if these are going to come in a two-pack i don't know if they're going to be individually packaged like we see with other ultimate editions Editions. I don't know how that's going to be. Maybe it'll be, uh, they'll probably be individually packaged. And then they'll be, you know, you could get them in a package deal on Site Collectible. Similar to how they do tag teams and things like that all the time. Probably how this is going to be. You know, I don't know. I honestly could not tell you which one's Jimmy and Jay. I'll have to wait for Mattel to tell me. If you know, you know. It's just, just, it's just jokes. But it really happened. But Jimmy and Jay Uso, very much looking forward to these. The only thing that kind of frightens me about this is just the... I'm very, very scared of these legs. It looks like they're using Montez Ford legs. And that kind of upsets me a lot, actually. Not kind of. It makes me sick. Just because I like to have lower leg cut. And uh, it doesn't look like these guys have lower leg cut. And that makes me sick. But I'm excited to see what these guys feel like, look like in hand, the head sculpts, fully painted, all the details, what cloth goods they're going to come with. There's so many different things. I bet they're going to come with the We The One shirt, if I had to guess, or maybe that Bloodline shirt to match Roman, and uh, that'll be okay with me. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. And speaking of the Bloodline and Roman Reigns... WWE Elite 103 Roman Reigns, I hope it comes with a white head of the table shirt or a white acknowledge me shirt, or I hope to God that it is a promo Roman head sculpt with the correct beard, with the correct fade, and all these things have been asking for for a really long time. But that is all the news, man. Lots of it. I, I told you guys this is going to be probably 20 minutes or near 20 minutes worth of WWE action figure news and just a lot of figures that are going to be coming this year. These are all on the horizon. All of it is subject to change, you know, maybe outside like Elite 102 and the greatest hit. Like a few things here are probably not going to change, but of course everything can change at the drop of a hat. They could pull a figure or, you know, change a lineup here and there, pull a figure, stick a figure out, all these different things. And this is, this is all the figures we know of, or at least we think we know of coming. And there's probably plenty more that we are unaware of. And just because I know they're coming doesn't mean anything for me because I'm excited to see what they look like. So that'll be fantastic. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the MDT channel, click the link in the description below. Also, check out the Pro Wrestling Tees merch store of MDT, man. If you want to support the channel over there, grab a shirt. I'd greatly appreciate it. Really cool designs over there. I'm going to do my best. I don't know if I'm going to... To Mania, I don't know if I'm going to rock an MDT shirt from the Pro Wrestling Tee store. Or I'm going to be rocking the MDT jersey like I did at Royal Rumble. So that'll be that'll be something I have to decide on. But I'm getting out of here, man. Been talking 20 minutes straight like a dumbass. So I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you're going to Mania, all the different things. Love you guys so much. Have a blessed one. I'll see you guys next time. And have a blessed one. Again, I said it twice. Fuck. <laughs>